Good afternoon, this is Joe with Estrada Roofing, uh, a roofing company here in South Florida. And I'm going to walk you real quick through a re-roof that we are doing. Uh, it's a shingle re-roof. And I'm going to walk you, I'm going to show you some clips of the outside of the house. Those are the guys up on the roof. Alright, I'll walk you through a few steps of what we're doing here. It's in the, uh, right now basically what you're going to be looking at is going to be the flashing detail, the underlayment, the 30 pound underlayment, how we do valleys, how we do walls, skylights, and a uh, few flashing details that we do here. I'll walk you through it. One of the very first details that I'm going to be showing you is this flash in here. What we normally do is we cut out, on every job that we do, we cut out the stucco, uh, remove the existing uh, flashing that's on the wall. Whether it's in good shape or not, we remove it. It's just something that we normally do here in Strata Roofing. We remove it. We install a brand new L flashing. And then we do a waterproofing with membrane. Uh, it's all GAF material. And then what we're going to do here is restucco the wall to its original surface with the texture. And we're going to paint it to make it match the existing color of the house. Here we got uh, the stripping that we do. This is what we call our smart target detail. Where we put a 9 inch strip of self adhere stone guard GAF material under the uh, drip edge before we install it goes on top of your uh, 30 pound felt then we go ahead and run a strip of 9 inch and on top of that as you can see we run our drip etch metal which on this case is going to be galvanized it's not any color white um, you see here on this gable end the house has a 2x12 and a 1x6 subfascia with the uh, 1x2 batten to get that drip etch a little bit further out from the overhang and again, uh, there are details that we do here. L flashing on this return. Again, waterproof with GAF, weather coat, and then we go ahead and run some membrane on it and redo it again. As you can see, it's got all this stripping. Anywhere we run metal, we want that stripping. You want to have that stripping underneath to protect the uh, actual drip edge from any moisture that's going to be on this roof throughout the years. You don't want any tin cap rubbing against that drip edge you want a nice tight seal to avoid any kind of corrosion that could happen through the years on this roof um, you can see I'm going to show you the detail of the valleys how we do the valleys we run a full strip of uh, stone guard JF stone guard then we run our valley metal and then we're going to also strip that in we do the same thing underneath our skylights and then we let, put the skylight on top, it's going to have bowling membrane around it. And another strip of uh, the self-adhered membrane on top. Okay, we're going to come around the other side of the roof. And we have our shingle crew installing shingle. This is, by the way, a GAF Timberline high definition lifetime shingle the color here it's white as you can see as I was telling you later you can see what we do with this valley embedded all in with a bull Here we got our, uh, part of the guys of the shingle crew. We just started this project this morning, the shingle installation. around the other side of this roof. Again, as you can see, the smart target detail. 
all around the, uh, the gable end, the eaves, under the drip edge, under the valley. We also do it around all of our penetrations, where there's goosenecks, boots, um, skylights, turbines. And believe me, this is something really good, and it's only something that the sweater does. No one else that I've seen does this kind of smart cover kind of detail. And this is also something that GAF, on their warranty, they want you to put on their roofs to get that good warranty for your shingles. that detail how we did that corner on the bottom we bought an 18 inch piece of L flashing that runs behind that one by six sub face all the way up underneath and then you got your one by and then your drip edge to prevent any water from getting back in that eyebrow and starting to rot the, uh, the fascia that's something we also do to protect that area that was a critical a corner there where we had a lot of wood issues and uh, to prevent that, this is what we did now. Okay, and there you have it. Tin cap and all the smart targets and we're gonna come back I'll come back to this house when it's almost almost to be completed and I'll run you through another more details of the finished product of this property by the way this is out here in the city the beautiful city of Pinecrest and uh, we'll do part two in a day or so thanks for watching